hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know me my name is naninga and this is nana's glam world and today we're going to be doing a leopard makeup look so basically we're trying to turn ourselves uh, turn ourselves almost turning ourselves into a leopard so the first step that i've done is that i've powdered my face with the maybelline superstay foundation and then i proceeded to spray it with a setting spray and that is going to act as my primer for those who don't know that hack, that's a hack if you don't have a makeup primer. And then now I'm just going to do my color correction on my face. Basically, I want to cover up dark spots on my face. And because I'm dark skinned, I am going to be using the LA Girl Pro Console Concealer. And that is their orange corrector. Orange color corrector. As I said, it's used to color correct dark spots on dark skin. So next we are going to do our foundation and I will be mixing two foundation shades. The first one is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 8C and this one is the Clinique Even Better Foundation in the shade Pecan. And yeah, it was a bit difficult to remove but I managed to do it and you mix them together thoroughly before you apply on your face. And as you can see, it's kind of matching my skin, kind of. But the end result is always amazing with the combination of these two foundations. You can combine as many foundations as you want, especially if you're not able to get um, the foundation of your skin tone. And after that, I'll just be applying it like all over my face and then I will go in with a beauty blender, a dump beauty blender. In short, you wet a beauty blender or a beauty sponge and then squeeze the water out and then just pat it into your skin make sure that you pat 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 and don't wipe like a rag because if you wipe like a rag the foundation will come out so you'll be patting all over our face and making sure that our skin is even and flawless Now I'm going to be um, applying concealer on my eyelids um, so that my eyeshadow will be more visible and also I'm going to make sure that I apply under my eyes for brightening and also um, on my forehead just for brightening and highlighting the bridge of my nose and around my mouth and the, the concealer that I'm using is the NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer and that is the shade 6.5 which is a very light shade by the way you can definitely go if you're my skin tone you can definitely go one shade light darker on this foundation on this concealer sorry so always make sure that your concealer is lighter than your foundation but not too light if you want but if you like it like me definitely you can go up to three shades lighter with your concealer so i'm just going to i used a flat brush and then now i'm just going in with a beauty blender to make sure that everything is blended nicely and there are no harsh lines um, that show where the concealer has started and ended If you thought that we were done with the brightening, you were so wrong, you were so wrong. Because clearly we are going to continue with the brightening and I'm now going in with this um, Rimmel Kind and Free Concealer and that's the shade Tan. And I'm just going to only apply it in the inner corners of my eyes, as you can see. And I'm just going to tap it gently in because I really want to brighten the eyes. And then now I'm going to set all those that concealer that I applied on my face so that it doesn't crease when you make faces, when you smile, when you frown. Your concealer is not supposed to crease so we are going to set it and we are going to be using the Black Opal Setting Powder. That's the shade Medium and I'm just patting it in anywhere where I applied that concealer. Now because I forgot to do my nose, I'm going to apply this contour shade just exactly where you're seeing me applying just to contour my nose and I normally start from my eyelids 
so that the contour looks a bit natural and then I'm going to go in with a brush and make sure that it's evenly blended out so as that setting powder sets we're going to do our eyebrows yeah the setting powder that I actually applied on my concealed areas we just leave it on we are not going to remove it fast and now I'm going to go in with this pastel uh, eyebrow mascara that's the one I used for my eyebrows and now we are already on the fun part which is drawing the leopard spots now there's these leopard spots I'm just drawing them using an eyeliner pen you can draw them with whatever you want you can draw them with paints you can draw them with um you know an eyeliner pen like me a booty pen so uh, I've just drawn the black spots and then now I'm going to fill them in with these yellow spots. You can use whatever colors you want uh, because we are not really leopards. This is just fun makeup and, you know, experiment with colors all that you want. So when I, after being satisfied with those spots, it's time for the eyeshadow. And you know the classic cut eye look. Yeah, I'm going to do the classic cut eye look, but except that it will be a smoky cut eye look. And so first of all, I'm just patting in some eyeshadow on the edge and, you know, elongating it. As you saw, it's a very elongated look because it's a cut eye. And then I'm just going to go in with this brush and dab in the, the a dark gray. It's a dark gray. It's not really a black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to tap tap that in, making sure that I buff out properly so that there are no harsh lines because this is not a cut crease. So once I'm satisfied with the dark color, I'm now going to go in with a little bit of a dark brown color and just buff out the edge to make sure that it creates a nice little gradient that isn't so harsher and then after that i am going to take an eyeliner after doing this step i'm going to take a black eyeliner and just apply it on my waterline and i'm going to make sure that my waterline is not just my wa lower waterline most people just apply eyeliner on their lower waterline i apply on both so i have applied on the top and the bottom and then now I'm going to go in with this Zaron Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. It's actually the one I also use to draw these spots, these leopard spots. And I'm going to draw the inner cat eye look. If you've ever looked at a cheetah or a leopard, you will see these markings on their eyes. And they are usually the motivation for so many cat eye looks. And then I'm going to go in with a, with a very dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it on my lower eyelid just to pull the eye look together. And I'm also going to go in with a lighter shade of dark brown and just mix those two colors together to make sure that it's like a nice little gradient. And then you put on your eyelashes and then you proceed with drawing the nose and you make sure that you are able to draw a nose. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Draw a nose, you know, like a, a cut nose. It's normally like dips at the center. As you can see, there's a little dip at the center. And then afterwards, you know, also draw your mouth. So I drew the outline first and then, and you can always, when you make a mistake, always take your concealer and correct that mistake. Yeah, you don't have to rub off all your makeup just to correct a mistake. If, for example, you drew an extra line outside, take your concealer and draw on top of it. Like, this is what I'm doing right now. Like, I drew too thickly. And now I'm just taking my concealer and applying it on top. And voila, like magic, the black no longer exists. Yeah, otherwise, if you see that you're going to rub off that eyeliner that you've already drawn or that uh, mascara that you've already applied, or just, you, you get the point. 
it will remove everything including your foundation so now that we've filled in that we are also going to fill in our lips our nose and lips We're also going to draw on the whiskers of the cat because creatures like cats and dogs do have whiskers. So I'm just going to draw spots on my upper lip, on top of my upper lip, some spots. And then from the spots, you draw some lines extending outwards, which will be the whiskers. For lipstick, I'm just using this black Ailey Colors lipstick and I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. Now generally um, wild cats don't have spots on their face, they just have like around the face but not directly on the face but I did go spot happy because I was so happy that I managed to do the spots and yeah I might have gone a bit crazy with the spots but it's okay it still looks like a leopard and yeah after doing the spots I think all we need is some wigs. 